What's up guys, Toast again from Fish Yacker. This is an update to a video that I did two weeks ago. Right now is January 7th. We're in the middle of the ammo crisis. So happy new year if you haven't watched since the last ammo video I did. I was showing that you can actually still find ammo online and get it mailed right to your house. Well, if you saw that last video on it, here you go. Let's do a quick unboxing. I'll tell you how much I paid for it, how long it took to get to me, and uh, if it's worth it. This package here arrived yesterday at my doorstep on the 6th of January. I ordered it on December 23rd, so it took exactly two weeks to get to me. I paid $61.46 directly from Federal. So if you do this, I'm not saying it's the best deal out there. Compared to most of your retail establishments, especially your mom and pop shops, the price is, is good, okay? Uh, but you're looking at $61, $62 ish, and probably a third of that at least is shipping. So that's what gets you on this. Let's take a look. Um, should be 100 rounds of 9 millimeter in this box right here. Again, it took exactly two weeks to get to me. Inside the box, this comes right from the factory, right from Federal. So that's a pretty, you know, pretty cool that you can. Uh, it's the second time I've ordered it. I just opened the box. This is actually pretty cool. Last time he didn't send me this, but they got a sticker this time. I mean, yeah, what's it worth? A few cents or something, but it actually shows a little bit of extra effort. So thanks, uh, Federal, for sticking that in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, then I've got a packing receipt in here, packing sticker actually, that was stuck inside. Uh, so it actually came from uh, Federal in Minnesota, was shipped to me here in Pennsylvania. 9mm, 124 grain uh, ammunition. Inside the box, 250 round boxes of 9, and then they took up the extra stuffing with some, uh, I guess it's like paper bag type of paper. And then there's your nice little box, actually. So, here's what I got. It's a Federal uh, American Eagle 124 50 round boxes. Two of them. And a sticker. 61 bucks. So again, you go back in time just a couple of years back. That's a lot of, lot of money. Uh, I, I mentioned to you guys just a couple weeks back, too, I did go to a Cabela's, a Cabela's in PA, and they actually had 100-round boxes in stock for just shy of 30 bucks. So if you can find this stuff in person at a big box store, definitely go for it. But if you're, uh, you know, in a hurry to pick up some ammo, uh, just basically stalk some of these online places. You may have heard Cheaper Than Dirt's got all sorts of lawsuits against them now, I guess, and the uh, state of Texas is investigating it for price gouging. There is a lot of that. From what I hear, a lot of the mom and pop shops are actually, uh, you know, kind of stuck in the middle because they're having to find the stuff through the distributors who are, you know, the middlemen are kind of jacking it up, and then there's a shortage on uh, primers, too. So, so it's kind of a complex situation. We're getting shortage of brass, shortage of primers, and then everybody else and their mom trying to buy new guns and buy ammo and stocking up. Did I need it? No, I didn't. I basically just wanted to do a quick video and show you that you can still find this stuff online. Go to Federal Ammunition's website and basically stalk it. You know, I've, I've been hearing uh, one of the comments from you guys last time was that uh, if you actually go on to Bass Pro or Cabela's website, and you go on there pretty late in the evening, like 10, 11, 12 at night, sometimes they'll upload the numbers on there, their inventory, and you can order it. But again, the thing that's going to catch you on these when you're buying it, even like this, uh, price isn't really outrageous. You're looking, you know, you're, you're looking like $22, $23 a box, which is a little steep, but, you know, compared to mom and pop shop is not bad. Uh, but they get you in that shipping because, as you know, that's dead weight, guys. Uh, but you can find the stuff. So if you're in the market for some ammo, you want to stock up, you can. But uh, keep in mind, this little guy is stocking up that might not necessarily need the stuff. It's causing the run on the market for everybody else. Uh, 
might get easier as uh, 2020 goes along, but uh, you can still find the stuff. You just got to be patient and take a look. But what I would recommend, uh, if you're not getting large, large amounts of it, uh, you can order two boxes typically at a time off the federal website. A uh, bunch of different types are in there, mostly the Target ammo. But uh, like I got here, again, with shipping, it comes out to about 30 bucks a box, which isn't great. But like I said, for purposes of the video, I just want to show you guys that you can get it if you want it. I'm a 9mm guy. I've been in law enforcement my entire adult life. So uh, I'm also a SIG guy. But uh, I actually do use a good amount of ammo. Uh, I don't usually do a lot of videos on it. But uh, it's one of my personal kind of off-the-grid hobbies. But uh, it's out there if you really want to find it. And it's uh, a little bit cheaper than uh, going to some of the uh, large online retailers that are, again, under investigation for price gouging. But uh, shipping's what gets you. But you can go to your local Dick's Academy, places like that. If you time it right, you can get in the door, get them right when a shipment comes in. They get overnight shipments. You can find it first thing in the morning. But you got to be patient, but the stuff's out there. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to click and give us that thumbs up. Subscribe to Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Share this video on all your social media outlets, and we'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.